Aren't you excited to vote for Kamala Harris? Ew, I'm not voting for her. Why would I vote for her? Well, she's a woman of color. Oh, so it's a, like a DEI hire? That is racist and sexist. You can't say stuff like that. Well, yeah, I absolutely agree that it's racist and sexist to vote for Kamala Harris because she's a woman of color. No, I mean it's racist and sexist to call her a DEI hire. Don't you like DEI? Yeah, it's great. Okay, well, if DEI is not offensive, then why are you offended if someone is a DEI hire? Because you're implying those are the only reasons. Those were the reasons you gave me. Like, can I go to her website and check out some policy? I mean, no, there's nothing on the website yet, but she has such history. You mean like being the tie-breaking vote in the Inflation Reduction Act, which obviously we still had inflation that was sky high. You mean like being the border czar or being the last person in the room before Joe Biden decided to pull out of Afghanistan? So none of those things count and Kamala Harris was never the border czar. You're talking about wanting to do executive orders on firearms or ban fracking or private health care insurance. No, those aren't her positions anymore. I find that hard to believe. I mean, her dad was a Marxist. She says stuff that sounds very much like Marxism. And her VP pick is literally a guy that just said that one person's socialism is another person's neighborliness. Okay, but like, what about reproductive freedom? Like, that's a reason to vote for Kamala. I mean, I don't personally support the premeditated homicide of the preborn, but even if I did, Donald Trump has changed the entire Republican platform to make it so that they don't support a national ban and said he won't touch the abortion pill. Okay, yeah, but Project 2020. Okay, so I'm not supposed to hold Kamala Harris accountable for the policies she supported when she was pushing her own presidential campaign, nor am I supposed to hold her accountable for the actual policies and the condition of the country when she's actually the vice president. But I'm supposed to be upset about policies that aren't actually Donald Trump's policies that another group made up because of reasons? Why is there no accountability here? Can't you just support a woman of color? I am a woman of color and I will be supporting myself and my family and the country by not voting for the worst candidate possible.